All right, hey y'all, uh, Seagull here. Uh, today we're playing BPM, Bullets Per Minute. Um, so I'm just kind of continuing the trend of playing rhythm games because I love them. And I just bought this uh, this morning or yesterday. Um, right now it's the 27th, Black Friday. Um, Steam was having a sale. Um, so I was like, I'm going to buy a whole bunch of games. And this is one of them. So we're just going to get into it. Uh, so, basically how it works is... Actually, let me make sure my audio levels aren't awful. Hold on a second. I'm gonna turn myself up just a little bit. I know I'm peaking, I'm sorry. No, I said I'm gonna turn myself up and then I turn myself down. Um... So, basically how this game works is... You pick a character, you know, like any fucking shooter. Well, it's a shooter. <laughs> Um, so it's a rhythm game mixed with a shooter, mixed with a roguelike. Um, I'll show it when we get into the game. I'm going to play on hard because I I got my furthest on hard. I don't know what the difference is, but I like playing on hard when I do play rhythm games. So, whatever. So first we have Gull, or I don't know I, I don't know how to say these names. They have like the little fucking marks above their name, the letters. I don't know. I don't, I don't I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I'm going to say Gull. Um, we have Freyr. Uh, Hilyor, or, Hild, Hilder? I don't fucking know. Njord, and uh, Oder, or uh, Ode? Oh, I don't fucking know what that says. I don't know if those are O's. It looks like DDR to me, but I don't have those two characters yet. Um, I unlocked these when I was playing, um, earlier. But this is the character I play with the most. Um, I, I, I think every character starts with a different gun. Um, but just for... At least for like the first couple runs, I'm gonna play goal. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So I'll explain how the game works just as we go along. So uh, as you can see uh, above, like when the first the uh, stage first started, there's uh, multiple different areas to go through. It's like six or seven. Um, right now we're in Asgard, I think it is. Um, so as you can see where the crosshair is, there's little like. Beats, so you have to shoot and reload on the beat. So, but you can also shoot on the half beat and reload on the half beat. Um, so, uh, as you can see on the bottom uh, of my screen, I don't know what I meant to put down there. Um, you see a little LB icon. That's my ability. I can dash. And you can dash on the beat. And then if you hold LB after dashing, you can sprint. Okay, if you hold... I mean, I'm playing on PS4 controller, so if you hold the option, or the share button, it brings up um, your stats and the map. And it'll give you an explanation of your abilities and items. So in the... Um, Bottom left corner, those are slots for like your helmet, your gloves, your shield, and your boots. Um, they all do different things. There's a bunch of different um, like options for that. So they all do, those all do different things. And then the stats, speed, range, luck, damage, precision, and ability. Um, those all can go up, um, which I'll show you once I do get a thing that go, makes one of those go up. Um, there are different guns, different abilities. Um, my health is right there next to the uh, our armor uh, section. Uh, right now, this character has 100 health. You can get shield. You can increase your health. And next to the health bar is keys and coins. Um, one last thing to go over, at least for right now, is in the top right-hand corner, you see uh, one multiplier and a uh, number below it, zero right now. So the number below the multiplier is your score. Um, and as you shoot on beat the multiplier goes up this one will probably be awful because I'm just trying to explain things and if you get hit your multiplier goes back to one or if you miss time your shot or reload so you see I can just pick up coins and so now I have three coins and at the end of most rooms you'll get like a chest Sometimes the chest will require a key to open, but this one didn't, and we got a key. Um, 
as you can see the skull here that's the boss door we don't want to go in there yet we want to clear out most of the room before we do that yeah i'm getting a hit a whole bunch and i'm not on beat because <laughs> the recorder curse i'm trying to talk and be on rhythm and talking is kind of hard and having to aim at the same time We didn't die there, that's good. You might die here, though. Oh god. Oh god, that fucking came out of nowhere. Okay. Now that I've explained it, well, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to fucking eat the microphone. Uh, now that I've explained it, hopefully I will be able to just, you know, focus this time. So, if you uh, are on beat the whole room, you get a flawless clear when you finish it. Um, this right here is a potion. If you're missing any of your health, it'll refill some of it. I also forgot to mention that this is a roguelike, so every run will be, you know, a little bit different. And this is a shop. It's a giant little fucking... A giant little? A giant fucking bird. So adorable. And the music is cute, too. Um, so here, you know, it's a health potion. It'll either be between 50 HP or 25. Um, sometimes they'll both be 50, sometimes they'll both be 25. Uh, sometimes you'll have um, an item. This is an armor piece that goes in their head slot. As you can see here, the head slot is glowing. Um, Ymir's crown, it echoes your attack, which means when you shoot, um, little fucking balls come out um, along with your shots. It's a pretty good item to have. And then you can buy keys. I think I'm going to save it for that one, because that one's pretty good to have. As you can see, I have a full multiplayer right now, because I was on beat the whole time. Or, most of the time. Um, I think I need one more coin to buy that, uh, that crown, so I'm going to wait. Oh god, I'm off beat. Fuck. I usually use so good at that room, but whatever, it's fine. So I got a key, which hopefully I'll be able to use soon. Okay, health. Okay, so you'll find these little shrines with a bowl in front of them, um, which you can you can donate a coin, and it'll make your um, deck go up. So. Donated a coin, I got an ability slot. Or I got an ability, you know, uh, ability up, I guess I'll just call it. So this is a bank. So if I donate a coin here, um, in the next run, or any future runs, if there's a bank, my coins will show up there and I can uh, withdraw them. I'm not going to do that now because I do want to buy that crown, but if I get an, at least like one more coin, I'll 
throw it off. Okay, so we've reached the chest room, which, you know, like most roguelikes have one of those, like, you either need a key to get in, or you need a key to open the, uh, the chest. Sometimes there'll be items, sometimes there'll be stat increases. That one time was a luck. I don't know what luck, maybe luck is, like, for critical shot. I'm not really sure, honestly, but, um, so I have nine coins, so I'm going to go back to the bank. I'll deposit a coin. Um, I don't know. Yeah, see, so right before that thing said zero. So we're just going to leave that there. And then if we come across the bank in the next run, um, I'll be able to uh, take it out. I think it's probably a good feature if you know you're going to die. Um, to just save your coins for the next run. Oh, I'm definitely going to take that. Damage up. And the good thing about it, they only take one coin. So... Alright, so, as you can see, we have damage up, uh, ability up, and luck up. So, we should be good for the boss. The first boss is pretty easy. A dwarf draugr. So, I'm just gonna pause it real quick. So, uh, the normal boss is just a draugr, but when you come into a boss room, sometimes they'll have different modifiers. So, this one's really small. Which makes them incredibly harder to hit. Okay, so that you have to that attack you have to jump, I just couldn't see it. And that attack you have to dodge or at least move to the other side. Oh god. Alright, you're dead. Alright, and when usually when you kill a boss, they drop a key and then you get a chest. Sometimes you get an item. Most of the time I feel like I get speed up or I get um a stat up. We just got to speed up. Unlike some roguelikes, after you beat a boss, you can still explore the rest of the room if you want, or the rest of the floor. Uh, I've touched every room, so I'm going to move forward. Oh, that tip um, down there. You can double jump. Yes, that is a thing you can do. I haven't showed that off. Um, I don't really know exactly where it's useful, or at least uh, in combat. For platforming, it can definitely be useful. Like, say you wanted to... They say that floor was lava or something. You could do that. Oh god, I'm gonna get hit, yeah. I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, I fucking... <laughs> Okay, so when you die, it gives you, you know, the, you were killed by this, and then it gives you your stats at the top. That was my score, that was how much long we were playing, and how many kills I got. Um, I think for the sake of this video, I'm probably just going to play on easy. But once again, I don't know what the difficulty is, or what the difference is, but... So, we're, uh, I did a couple runs as goal, so we're going to do Freyr. Uh, he starts with a uh, revolver that you have to manually reload each shot, which is pretty cool. Big fan of revolvers. It, it, it makes it a lot, a lot harder. Um, but I think it's really satisfying to reload with him. Okay, Dark Asgar, Asgard. Um, so you see there's a little, like, I don't want to say filter, but like the edges of your view are darker now. But uh, so you have to reload um, one by one.
Oh, also, he only has shields. But there's a way around that that I will show you if I get the chance. Okay, so I get to show the gun shop. Okay, so this uh, is an armory. Um, I don't know how you unlock more of these um, like pedestals for more guns, but usually there's only two available. Uh, this is uh, Gold's gun, starting gun, and then this is, I'm guessing, a minigun. I haven't had enough coins to buy this yet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stick with uh, this gun, the revolver. If I can get 15, I'll buy it, but... I don't think I'm going to be able to, though. But... Okay, so if I buy this, then he'll get a health slot. It'll be empty, but I'll get a health slot. I want to see if I can get enough coins to... No, I won't be able to. But I can open that chest. I need two more coins. Oh, wait. No, there's no bank on the floor. If there was a bank on the floor, then I could have 14. But it still wouldn't be enough. I'm trying to look around the room to see if there are any coins I missed. So, uh, we're in a chest room again, and as you can see here, um, there's another chest down there, but there's like a wall around it, so if I go through that, I'll take damage in on the way in and out, but that's another chest you can open if you have the key for it. Oh, skeleton key, I've never seen that before. So what I'm assuming is, I'm, assu I'm assuming that, um, I can just unlock anything on the floor. Okay, great. I didn't have to buy it. Um, so now you can see I have a slot there next to my shields. Um, it's empty, but now I can uh, refill it. The shields are not refillable. Once those are gone, those are gone. But if I walk over here, see, now I have a health slot there. Or I, I have a filled health slot. Um, there were chests somewhere on this floor. It was like three chests. No, the question is, does that skeleton key last multiple floors? Or is it like Isaac where it only lasts one floor? Those chests might give me coins. Wherever they were, I don't remember where they were. I pause, I'm just trying to find those chests. There was three chests, I swear. Oh, there, there they are. Yeah, I'm like, sometimes you'll get a chest that just has an enemy in it. Oh, well, I actually got an ability from that? That's interesting. Never gotten that before. Um, Forge doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to get that gun, but that's okay. We're gonna move on to the boss door. Damage? Ah, uh, range, that's fine. Okay, see, this is a regular Draugr.
So when you're killing a boss, you can reload and shoot off. It doesn't even matter. Okay, range up. Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go to the shop and... Excuse me. Jesus Christ. Ah. I'm gonna go buy that health up. The running low on shield. Oh, and then I can go here and then pick up that other health. Like before I leave the floor, I'm pretty sure there was another health pick up here. Alright, let's see if that skeleton key lasts more than one floor. I, I highly doubt it lasts more than one floor, it's probably just one floor. Then it's gone the next. That would be incredibly broken. Oh, no, I just have I just have a skeleton key. That's fucking sick. Okay. Well I can open the library now. Okay, so the libraries are uh, basically like the chess rooms, but they're four abilities. Okay, so this is a, this one's an ultimate, it's gonna buff my speed. For a couple seconds, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, so this one, double shot, it means that when you fire, it uses two shots, but you fire twice, obviously. Instead of having to pull the trigger twice, you just pull it once. It has its pros and cons, obviously. It'd probably be better with the other gun, because you still have to re reload six times. It's definitely a cool ability, though. Okay, uh, chest. Well, that's healing if I ever need it. So, each floor kind of has like these... I, I don't know, we can call them mini-bosses. They're not too hard. Um, that one just clings to the ceiling, and then when you shoot it, if it comes down and shoots sonar rays and stuff, it's just a large bat. Nothing to really write home about, but it's there. Man, it would be sick if I, uh, got, there, 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 there was like a, I don't know if it was a shield, or like, an ability or something, where I had just infinite ammo, I never had to reload. That would be crazy with this. There's too many bugs in these things. Maybe it's there's always a bug in two of them, and then in one of them it'll be an item? I have no idea, truthfully. Kind of crazy how I just don't need keys. Well, I already have it. I already have a hand item, so I won't be buying that. But I will be buying that. And I don't need to buy keys, so I think I there was a chest that had health in it.
Yeah, right there. But before I buy, before I buy health that I don't need. Ooh. Like, I completely forgot I had that item. As you can see here, this uh, thing is a dagger in the middle. Um, you can take this, but you'll take damage once you take it, I believe. So I'm not going to take that. This is a challenge room. If I pull this lever, um, a whole bunch of enemies will spawn, and then you'll get a chest at the end. I'm not going to do it, because I'm just trying to preserve this run as long as possible. But, on the next run, maybe. Still alive! Oh, there you are. I don't need you, but I'll take it. It sucks when you fucking think you're on beat and then you miss your shot. Okay, so this, I don't really know how it works. I know you can put money into this, and then it goes into here, or items come out. But I've gotten coins back from doing it, so I don't, I don't really know. So as you can see, I took my coin out. But I'm just going to put it back in. I don't really need money right now, so... Soundtrack's pretty good, but I think uh, I mean it's not a gripe for me because I like the I like the music and I don't mind hearing it over and over and over again. Um, if you if you suck, you're gonna be hearing the same song over again, and even still, even if you don't suck, like the soundtrack doesn't change on subsequent runs, so you're just gonna be hearing the same song over and over again. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, he hit me. I, I usually never get hit by that. That's crazy. I didn't, I didn't think I was just gonna fucking die like that. That sucks. Okay, well, that happened. Uh, okay, we're gonna do a Hilder run. Uh, that was Freyr. That sucks that I died. I, I didn't expect to die there. But you know, that's okay. Okay, so, uh, her gun, you have to, uh, hit, hit reload three times to empty the clip, put a new one in, and then mash it down. It, it's just satisfying sounding. Also, she starts with less health overall. But she also has an armor slot. And I think she starts with a key. This is such an awful item to get in my opinion. At least for me. I feel like the speed... It's kind of like... It makes it so hard to fucking do anything. I'm going fucking breakneck speed. Like, it's good to be out moving what you're facing, but... As you can see, it was like, really hard to hit everything because I'm moving so much faster than it.
I apologize if this is disorienting. It's a little bit disorienting for me too. Celestial drum roll. I don't know what that one does, so hopefully I live long enough to be able to show you what it does. I would always say get rid of the bats first, because those things shoot things, so if you're not looking at them, they can be a real annoyance. Miss anything on this floor? No. Oh wait, did I go in the shop? I don't know if I went in the shop. I kind of want to buy this just so I'm not going so fast, truthfully. I'm gonna take it. Just fuck it. Yeah, see, now we got a burning one. If he gets near us, he'll do damage. Oh, joy! More fucking speed! As if I fucking needed that. <laughs> Ugh. I'm like legitimately disoriented now. Ugh. Kinda tired of it going so fast.
I'm still not used to this gun, truthfully. Can I get a gunsmith, please? We have so much money. Please give me a fucking. Uh, can you die, please? How do I get out of here? Okay, now we can do critical shots, I think. I probably should have just bought the 25, but whatever, I don't care. Oh, well, I actually got a gun from that. Okay. Better. I. Okay, come on. Let me see if I could get fucking. Uh, some more coins. So, with this gun, get the pump after every shot. We need 15.
Yes, we have enough. Okay, lay creep. So, as you can see, um, as we move, this shit gets uh, splattered on the floor. If enemies touch it, the enemies that are on the ground anyway, uh, touch it, they take damage. Alright, fuck this gun. It's cool that we got it in a chest, but I want whatever the fuck this is. Give it to me. I don't know what gun this is, but it's cool. Okay, let's see what our fucking ability does. I don't know what that did. Alright, I didn't die that time. Fantastic. Ooh, yes, damage up. But we're probably gonna die. <laughs> It's fine. Fuck it. Vanahim. I don't think I've reached it here in this video yet. Uh, this is the third... Or the second. Technically the second area. Okay, yeah. I was like, I'm, I know I'm gonna die. Um, but that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. How long have we been going? Alright, we're, we're reaching we're like four, almost 45 minutes. Um, but yeah, that was uh, BPM bullets per minute. Um, I barely even scratched the surface of what this game gets to. Um, it'd definitely be challenging, but I definitely do recommend it if you enjoy interesting concepts and games. Um, a shooter mixed with rhythm uh, and roguelike elements. And also, you can turn off the rhythm. Um, I think you can turn it off. You can turn it off somewhere. Um, oh, yeah. Um, I don't know if that's it. But you can definitely turn off the uh, rhythm, you know, section of it if you just want to play it as a shooter. Um, I feel like why do that when this is that's literally the point of the game. But if you are struggling with it, the option is there for you. Um, actually, let me turn it on real quick and just see what it is because I'm actually I'm actually curious. We're just, we're just gonna start a run real quick. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, that's fucking weird to me, so I'm not going to play with it, obviously, but should you want to, that option is there for you. Um, also, uh, you can quit out of your runs and continue. Like, say you reach a place and you're like, well, fuck, I gotta leave my house or something. You can do that. Some some uh, Rolex don't allow you to do that. Um, at least, or at least not at any time. Some games are like you need to reach a specific point or an item to do that or whatever. But anyway, um, that was uh, BPM bullets per minute. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you check it out yourself. It's literally on sale right now um, until the first of December, I believe. So check out the Steam sale. Pick out some games. Have a nice day, y'all.